So I wanted to take a few minutes with this video to talk about three interesting PlayStation 5 stories. One focused on DualSense controllers now being in store, making me want to go check my local retailers when they open here just to, I guess, look at the box for some reason. <laughs> the second story focuses on PlayStation VR, PlayStation 5 adapter information, which I know isn't important to everyone, but for people like myself who have PlayStation VR, this is for you. And finally, PlayStation PlayStation 5 will include the next version of Share Factory, which is Share Factory Studio. First, let me know if you have seen DualSense controllers at your local retailers. I haven't checked my local retailers just yet, obviously, and I will to see if they're there, but what about you guys? So comment below, have you seen DualSense controllers at your local retailers or not? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, diving into the first story of the video, the latest on the PlayStation VR, PlayStation 5 adapter situation. So, for those who don't know, the PlayStation 5 does not have the port needed to connect the PlayStation 4 camera, but you can use PlayStation VR on PlayStation 5, and games for PlayStation VR should work fine on the PlayStation 5 as well. The only thing missing from the equation to use PlayStation VR on PlayStation 5 is the camera adapter for the console. Some might think, why can't I use the PlayStation 5 camera for PlayStation VR? And that was a question of mine as well, but Sony has confirmed PlayStation VR will not work with the PlayStation 5 camera and that you need the PlayStation 4 camera and for that you need the adapter. We haven't gotten much word on the adapter, but apparently we now have a release time frame it seems. PlayStation Japan released a blog post recently which contains information for upcoming PlayStation VR bundles they're releasing and they mentioned that the PlayStation VR camera adapter for the PlayStation 5 will be included in these bundles on October 29th. Reading from the PlayStation Japanese blog, the above two products include PlayStation camera adapter required to enjoy PlayStation VR on PlayStation 5. In addition, PlayStation camera adapter will be distributed to customers who purchase PlayStation VR units other than the two products above at the Target stores after October 29th, Thursday at the time of purchase at the store. Please wait for future updates on how to provide the adapter and how to apply for it for customers who already own PlayStation VR. The adapter will be provided free of charge. So this basically means the adapter will be included in these two bundles on the 29th and people who purchase different bundles than the two mentioned on the blog after the 29th will also get the adapter but the rest of us who bought PlayStation VR already still have to wait. I personally feel they should have set up a plan for people who already own PlayStation VR before setting up these bundles, but I hope this means we're not far off from information for the rest of us. But let me know if you have a PlayStation VR and care about this or not. Let me know down in the comments below. Now, diving into the second story of the video, PlayStation 5's Share Factory Studio. For people who don't know, again, on the PlayStation 4, you have an application called Share Factory that allows you to edit videos directly on the PlayStation 4 and share them over to social media platforms like YouTube. I've never really used it myself, but I know a lot of others use it for themselves. So the story goes, the new PlayStation Store website is slowly rolling out to different territories. I tweeted about it yesterday and a user on Reddit was able to spot Share Factory Studio on this newly updated website. This app is presumed to be the successor to Share Factory on PlayStation 4. The information for this app on the store, however, is pretty much non-existent, which makes sense since Sony have yet to discuss it themselves. It just states that it's for the PlayStation 5 only, it seems, but this also probably means we should be hearing more about it soon. It also looks like this could be there at at launch for the PlayStation 5 in comparison to Share Factory, which launched about five months after the PlayStation 4. But you guys let me know if you're excited for a Share Factory studio for the PlayStation 5 or not. Let me know down in the comments below. Now, diving into the final story of the video, PlayStation 5 controllers are now in store shelves. So since last week, we've been seeing images of the 
PS5 DualSense controller out in the wild. We've seen the controller land in stock rooms and we've seen the controller somehow land onto someone's local Facebook marketplace already up for sale at $100. For people who don't know, it's been revealed that PlayStation 5 accessories like the DualSense controller, the charging bay, the camera, the 3D Pulse headset are all going to be available for people to get their hands on them starting October 30th for people here in the West instead of November. 12th which is when the PlayStation 5 launches as for the East some places are offering PlayStation 5 accessories as early as November 12th which is a week earlier than the launch of the PlayStation 5 console itself on November 19th in some regions in the East and now we're seeing PlayStation 5 controllers landing on store shelves literally 10 days before they're available and three weeks before the launch of the PlayStation 5 <laughs> it's so nice to say the PlayStation 5 launches in three weeks that's just that's just a nice sentence in itself but even though they are on store shelves you cannot purchase them just yet you can look at them imagine holding the controller but not actually taking it home with you just yet i said two videos ago that we're going to see more of the controller this week and it seems to be the case but i'm still waiting for the unofficial unboxing video that I'm sure is going to come soon enough. But you guys let me know if you're picking up PlayStation 5 accessories on the 30th or not. Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. As it always helps. And subscribe if you're new. I got new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And now, I'll check you guys out on the next one. And welcome back to the after show. This is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below. If you're old, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. For today's thing, what I want you guys to do is to body, obliterate, destroy, and overall harass the comment section with... Can I look at that? Obviously, <laughs> this is in reference to somebody going to the store and being like, hey, can I look at that controller real quick? I just want to look at it and then, you know, just running off that of the store. Obviously, I'm not <laughs> suggesting anybody do that. But if you're excited for the DualSense controller and the PlayStation 5, destroy the comment section with, can I look at that? And I'll definitely heart those comments like I always do because I appreciate everybody who stays to the end of my videos. And now I'll check you guys out on the next one.